The brisk February air has us pining for a spring break getaway, and why should the college kids get all the fun? But if you're going to get away, why not do it in style and take off to a luxury villa? Here with a look at some gorgeous properties, plus some tips on getting away, is Joe Poulin, president and CEO of Luxury Retreats. Welcome, Joe. Lovely to see you. Thanks for having me. I'm so excited to talk about getting away because that's exactly <laughs> what I'd like to do right now. <laughs> Let's start with your gorgeous villa in Orlando, Florida. Well, Orlando is interesting that we just picked up these properties very recently, and, and you know I'm sure you've probably been to to Disney as well, and yes. and I have with the family, and you know what we noticed is the accommodations over there weren't. I think all Up to standard. We'll put it that way, okay. <laughs> and so we came across uh, these homes here, which um, are only 17 minute drive from Disney, which is great. Uh, nine bedrooms, nine bathrooms. Two of the rooms for kids are actually themed. So one of them was Star Wars themed, and you have a theater for the kids, pool, hot tub. So when you look at all that, and it's only about $250 a night per room. I mean, it's, it's just a steal. That Honestly, is the I think it's perfect family getaway. Now, absolutely. let's say you want to do a little adult getaway, leave the kids at home with the babysitters. You've got a gorgeous place. I mean, you could also take them to Angu Anguilla, but, <laughs> but you, let's face it, it's an amazing <laughs> place to go with a bunch of friends. Absolutely. So in Anguilla, we have uh, Le Bleu, which is a 10-bedroom estate, two pools, tennis courts. Uh, so I've, I've, told, I've toured this place before, and it's Absolutely fantastic. The staff is, is is A1. So you have a full 24 hour a day staff, butler, chef, and so forth. So, I mean, if you want to eat grilled cheeses at 3 o'clock in the morning, no problem. Hit the button, we'll, we'll problem get that is, served up. I don't up. think I would ever leave. You'd have to drag me out of there kicking and screaming. How much is something like this going to go for a night? So it's a, it's about $1,000 a night per room. We break it down per room just per to give room, a bit of a, right? yeah. So, <laughs> I mean, it's, it's 10, it's, <laughs> just as a comparison, <laughs> yeah, for going to hotels, correct. <laughs> but it's, it's, so in the whole estate would be about 10,000, 11,000 a night. Because it sleeps about 10, 11 people? Uh, 20 people about. So it's 10 bedrooms. So it's 20 oh, people when you. There you go. See, That's there you not go. so bad. Exactly. I'm not so bad. Now, Joe, I like that. So, what about Sierra Mar in LA? This is an interesting place to go. It's right? a super interesting place. We just picked this one up as well. I was there actually last week. I stayed there myself, um, and it's great, great views, pool, hot tub, the whole thing. You actually, have your own movie theater in there as well, which was Incredible. fantastic to to go and use. Uh, it's three bedrooms, but it, with five bathrooms. But it's actually really big because it's on I forget how many stories, five stories I think built up. So it's a really cool, you know, all LED lights everywhere. It's a it's a real funky house and what was nice is that we were just a couple minute drive down from sunset so I couldn't believe how close the location was to the action it was so it was, that's where you go if you also want to get a little nightlife in with your you've got the best right? best of both absolutely best, but do you have a lot of properties in LA or is this sort of a new I, I think now we're a little over 90 now in oh, LA yeah so it's okay. been a big push for us and we've seen you know great demand for it uh, long-term stays, short-term stays. So, so yeah, you guys are really spreading out. Absolutely. absolutely. That's exciting. Absolutely. That's exciting. Now, you also have a little, in case you want a little ski spring break, which a lot of people love to do, you've got the Snow Ridge Estate in Whistler, Canada. So I brought up, I mean, electric treats, we have stuff just beyond, you know, uh, the, the warm stuff, if you will, a little bit of the ski yeah. as well. And what's nice now with the Canadian dollar, I mean, the U.S. dollar is so strong, so with the Canadian dollar being this week, uh, Snow Ridge is, is an interesting place, ski in, ski out, hot tub. Uh, so if you start discounting down also on the, on the Canadian dollar piece, uh, it ends up being, you know, very, very affordable. So what is something like this? I think that one is about 2,500 Canadian a right. night, so that's maybe 100 U.S. or whatever that is. I don't know. About even, I, I love a little <laughs> spring skiing, so that's, that could be really fun. So it's a great one, yes. Really, really fun. And good for the family as well. Great for the family as well. I mean, again, you don't have to go and lug all the skis and so forth. You just pop on your skis or your snowboard and just you're off onto the hill. So we've seen for families that's a big that's a big, big, big plus, absolutely. Now, of course, if you have a little extra time and you want to jet over to Italy, you have the beautiful villa in Umbria. Oh, my God, this one just took my breath away. So we put, we put uh, want to feature a little bit of, of this information because right now, I know that's not really spring break, you would think, but the, the reservations right now for Italy are, I mean, they're almost full, filled up already really? for summer. It's Why been, do you think that is? I think, I mean, one, never gone out of style going to Italy or Umbria yeah. or Tuscany, and also with the euro still pretty well depressed as well, and the Canadian, uh, the mm -hmm. U.S. dollar being so strong. So I think that's been a big appeal. Um, these kind of homes coming on on stream, Spinal Termine, which is a, a mixture of classic Italian with the modern interiors, that's really what we're seeing is very popular. So people want to have that, you know, rustic sort of feel, if you will, in the countryside, but they don't want to give up the yes. nice bathroom, nice kitchen. Absolutely. Wow, what choices. I'm a little torn between Anguilla and Umbria here. I don't know. I'm going to have to think about this one. <laughs> Joe, thank you so much for that. Thank you very much. We're going to take a quick break. We'll be right back.